What's going on guys? It is Nick back from One More Cast and today I'm going to be painting a sexy shad pattern on a little lipless crankbait. So lipless cranks are awesome. I love throwing them in the springtime especially but I pretty much throw them all year round. This is a pretty small lipless crankbait but it does weigh three eighths of an ounce. So it has a pretty good weight to it. Um, it's the first time painting one of these up. I usually paint some bigger baits, and so I'm excited to see kind of how the little one works. It's gonna be a little bit more finesse um, but I think the pattern is gonna come out pretty cool. Okay, so we have an opaque white base coat, um, pretty standard for, you know, most of these baits. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot some silver scaling on the sides and up on the back of this bait. Um, I actually ran out of the metallic mesh that I usually use. It's kind of like a wire, a mesh wire, but I do have some old loofah that I'll use for the scaling here. Um, this is just an old shower loofah. It works pretty well. Um, realistically, I would usually like to tie it down on the bait to make sure it's really you know, on there good, but I'm just gonna hold it like this for this video. And side two. So you saw I didn't even heat set this. Um, for this amount of paint, I really don't think you can mess it up too much. Uh, just make sure while you're painting to keep it really nice and still. And again, make sure it's as close to the bait as possible. So we have a little bit of scaling on the sides. The next thing we're gonna do is take that same silver and we're gonna basically just cover up the, the face and the gills to give a solid silver. And there you go. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more creative and do some more detailed stuff. I have cut out a couple stencils out of just some cardboard paper. I have some stencils for the gills, and then I also have some stencil for a side fin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all three of these stencils and I'm gonna use some opaque white and then outline the outside of the stencils with that white first to give a nice base layer and then come in with some red on top of that. And hopefully that will really set the red off from the other colors and really make it stand out.
So now we have the red accents in. And what I'm gonna do just for these side fins is I'm gonna take some black and really just try to outline really thinly just to really set those side fins off. Well, I still have the red out. I'm actually gonna also spray this throat down to that first eyelid. Okay, now just taking a bit of opaque black, I'm gonna just really try to outline these side fins to really make them pop. Okay guys, next up we're gonna take some fluorescent yellow and hit these lateral lines. I'm just gonna do freehand I'm gonna start at the tail um, and then work my way up into those gill lines. Gonna heat set these and hit it a few more times. Uh, we really want these side lateral lines to be standing out. Here we are at this point. Just a few more finishing touches. Okay, so for the back, we're gonna just take some opaque blue and uh, really just hit the top and the back. We wanna keep that scaling on the sides. Um, so it's really just covering up the white on top. That came out a little bit strong, so we are going to uh, heat set that and then try to blend that in a little bit better. So you can see the bait there with the blue on it. And I'm not a huge fan on how it, that blue looks on top. So I'm actually gonna take probably my favorite color, especially if you guys have been watching this channel, you know that this uh, Createx Wicked Sepia, it really just, it tones down a lot of colors. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that and then just spray really just right on the tippy top of that blue to maybe tone down that blue and make it look a little bit more natural. Gonna heat set this, put the eyes in, and show you what the finished product looks like. And so here it is, guys. There's definitely some things I would like to improve on on this bait, but overall, um, I really like it. It's definitely something that I'll throw. You know, I'm trying to kind of challenge myself for this one. It was definitely the size of the bait. You can see it's, it's really small. Um, and, you know, it's just trying some more stenciling techniques, just trying to get a little bit um, better with the gun. I had a couple problems with the gun today. It was not shooting as great as I would have liked it to. It was kind of, you know, shooting fatter lines and spurting some paint. So I may have to, you know, take it and do a really deep clean on it and uh, make sure all of my paint is good because it uh, has been a while since I painted a couple weeks for sure because I've been on vacation and whatnot. Let me know what you think about this pattern down in the comment section below. Is this something that you would throw yourself? It's definitely time to start fishing. I'm probably gonna take this guy out tomorrow after I put the clear coat on it and see what I can do. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I come out with a couple videos every week centered around fishing and fishing related content. 
and soon we're gonna start getting on some large fish. So again, I appreciate you, and until next time, everyone, tight lines. Thank you.